Ricky, what can I get for you, man? Oh, well, there you go. Ready for you. Yep. Oh, oh, I'm good. I've had a kind of a long day, but good to see you. See you. Oh, you're fine. Thank you. And you look gorgeous. Oh that shirt. Oh, I can be pretty. I do. Oh my gosh, I remember that when she got super wet. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. Can to be fair, we were. How cute. Do it. Oh my gosh. Right? We saw him when we came in. You should go talk to him. No, I can't. What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. No way. Oh no, that's asking for trouble. <laughs> she go talk to him. She go talk to him. She go talk to him. Come on, do it. Do it. What if I said yes? <laughs> I didn't think about that. Don't you think we should get to know each other a little bit more? I'm Johnny. Johnny O'Connor. I know who you are. You are the owner. I'm Lily. Mr. O'Connor, it was really nice to meet you. Well, I guess we know each other a little better now, right? If you teach me, I could learn to love. If you reach for me, I could learn to give. <laughs> I could learn to feel If you let me go I could learn to live I could learn to Johnny, where did the dog come from? <laughs> I don't know. He limped in here a few days ago on three legs and said, I'm looking for the man who shot my paw. <laughs> Last call. It's not even midnight, Johnny. Leave now and your drinks are on me. Hey, Lily. It's been a long time. Are you deaf? Get out of here. The bar's closed. You too. Get the fuck out of here. Now, I don't know whether to hug you or hit you. If you ever hit me again, I'll kill you. I never hit you. Shouldn't you be at a birthday party? Yeah. But we celebrated it last night. Well? What do you want? What are you doing here? Um, I, um, can I have a beer? <laughs> what? 
But you're not drinking? No. No one's more surprised by that than I. Wow, that's amazing. That's really... That's great. Been sober nine months, four days this time. <laughs> Look, if this is about child support... I don't want your money. Well, I would have sent some, but it's like you fell off the fucking planet. You should have looked for us. It's a big world, Lily. I found you. Yeah. Right where you left me. Sean's been asking about you. He wants to meet you. Is that so? Yeah. He... You know, one of the many things I always admired about you, Lily, was that you had this great ability to not expect more from people than they could give you. Well, I have you to thank for most of that. Right. So you'll appreciate that I can't give you that. Not one fucking word in six years. Jesus. <sighs> so where'd you land? Dallas. I'm in Dallas. Fucking Texas. I hate Texas. I know. I think you should be going. I'm dying, Johnny. I'm dying and I would really like for you to meet your son. What? I have cancer, ovarian cancer. I can't and do I this. No, I can't. I don't want to. You need to leave. Please leave. Please. Johnny just wants it. If you could just meet him. The I... bar is closed. I want you out. He's amazing. Now! He's, he's the best of both of us. Really, he's got this. I buried you six here. years ago. Now get the fuck out of here! Are you deaf? I've got nothing for you. Nothing for him. You, him, and from another life. Another time. A time that I would just as soon forget. Now go! Go! Get the hell out of here! You want me to? No, I'm fine. I'm fine, really. I, I'll be fine. Sean snuck into your bed. He thought I didn't hear him, but I did. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I promise I'm fine. You go. Go.
I'm sorry, buddy. It's okay. You tried, and that's what counts. He'll come. You'll see. You alive? An angel appears. Fuck you. Or not. This is great. Just great. You know, a phone call would have been nice. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I need to find my keys. What the fuck? I'm going to Dallas. Dallas? What the fuck is in Dallas? My son. If you go to Dallas, I will not be here when you return. Well, sugar, the way I see it, leaving's all there's left to do. You can't. You're trusting a lot of you, you stupid. Bitch. I can't live like this. I can't live it's with you. It's your fault for believing me. This is better than hell. No, hell would be better than living with you. You don't like it, Mama Cena? Well, there's the border. How many times do I have to tell you that Puerto Rico isn't in Mexico? You know, you can fix all this and you learn how to give a stupid blowjob. Oh, God. Tell me you're not dying, Lily. You just said that to punish me some more. I'm done punishing you, Johnny. Are you drunk? No. Maybe a little. Johnny? Your son is asleep in that room, and I am not going to have him wake up and see you like this. Just, just go. I don't go until I see my son. You see, bitch. Now, let's not be mad. Please, don't be mad. All of my life, all I have ever wanted is to marry a great man. And to raise a happy child. I have accepted that the first part of that dream is not going to happen. So I decided I was just going to raise our happy child to be a great man. But now I am not going to live long enough to do that. I had moments of greatness. Name, name one. For fuck's sake, Johnny, name one. One if it didn't happen on a fucking football field. I made you love me.
Nice looking cat you got there. Thanks. What's his name? Roy. Why'd you name him Roy? That's the only name I know. That can't be true. I know you must have a thousand friends. You gotta know more names than Roy. Did you ever see that movie Die Hard? Sure. You remember when the detective Johnson was on his walkie-talkie with Bruce Willis and he said, What's your name, cowboy? And Bruce Willis said, John McClane, but you can call me Roy. That's how. I need some coffee. You want some coffee? No, sir. I don't drink coffee. I'm only six. I know how old you are. You had a birthday two days ago. That's right. My mom got me Mount McGuire's rookie card for my birthday. Wow. You've been collecting those a long time. Not really. I'm spoiled. This one here is my favorite. Nice. Do you have any baseball cards? Nah, I'm more of a football fan. Slow down there, little guy. You gotta get your shoe on. All right, go on. We get that ball. Turn around. There you go. <laughs> Here. I go. <laughs> Go. Take that back. <laughs> Karate chop. That Sid, he's a wife beater. I need to talk to you inside. Now, please. Think I'm in trouble. Sean, you stay out here. But, Mom! Listen to your mother. That it is time that you go. I just got here. You can't do that. Why did you want me here? Because he wanted to meet you. Okay? Well, now you've met him. And I think it's time for you to come. Bullshit! You're dying and he needs a parent. That's why you wanted me here. My mother is gonna have custody. Your mother? Are you crazy? You what? are a drunk for fuck's sake, Johnny! I was sober until you showed up! Was sober one time for five goddamn years! I could do sober! You're not safe. You were my husband, Johnny. You're supposed to make me feel safe. The world's not safe, Lily. I made him feel safe! I gave him that! I gave him that! Even when I was scared and I was unsure of myself, fuck you, I gave him that. I gave him something that you never gave me. Fuck. Sean. Sean. Sean, please. Go away. I hate you. Sean, Sean, please. Please. Please, Sean. Sean. I didn't mean it, Mommy! I didn't mean it! Do you know how much I love you? We
you don't know. Is that because of you? I'm not sad. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little sad. But I got to be mom to one of the best kids that ever lived. I'm so lucky. I'm really lucky because of that. <laughs> because of you. I did things that I never even knew I could do. Please don't die. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you made me so much more than I ever would have been without you. I need you to know that, okay? Please let him stay. I would not have cared if you had said goodbye. I would not have mentioned you were leaving in the middle of the night. I would not have given two thoughts to you leaving me behind. But you said that you loved me and you lied. No, I'm not a great man. You had a few great moments. You made me love you.
need you to do something for me. Wait here. No, I speak English. No, I you know this kills me when you speak Spanish. Shut up. Is your wife deaf? I didn't think so. So why do you yell at her all the fucking time? Huh? Newsflash, pal. She stopped listening years ago, and one of these days she's gonna find the courage to leave your sorry ass, and you have no idea how much you're gonna miss her. God is real. Yeah, sure, don't you? My mom said he is, but my heart hurts so much right now that I've been asking him to make it stop, but it still hurts. I know what you mean, bud. Mine hurts too. I think maybe that's God's way of making sure we don't forget. Hell, I will never forget. I think maybe when a person dies, God puts all the love you would have got from them and all the love you would have given them inside our hearts all at once. But our hearts aren't big enough to hold all of it. So at first, it hurts. And in time, they'll stretch and they'll get used to it and then we'll be okay. Good God, son. It wasn't me. It was my cat. If that was Roy, we're taking him straight to the vet. <laughs> it was me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
how my heart was torn into by all that would come after. Still, I hung the moon for you. Don't think twice Lean against the wind It's alright I'm holding on I'm holding on I'm holding on To you Oh I So rest and dream Though I don't slumber No, I'm dreaming with you Heart so full of tenderness and love and wonder for you and I hung the moon for you. So rest and dream, though I don't slumber.